How you doing there? Dragon Man here. I'm in uh, my machine shop and look at all these jobs we got. Man, they're coming in heavy. I got this transmission, four-speed transmission from South Dakota, uh, from John. And uh, tell you the truth, I'm about uh, probably uh, three weeks behind. Uh, it's going to be about three weeks before I can get to this, the end of the line here. But uh, every day we get jobs done. Uh, we got uh, another transmission here. Uh, we got heads to do. This one here is from uh, James from uh, Washington. And uh, we'll get to that probably the end of next week. We got a knucklehead motor to do. Uh, we got an evolution lower end to do. Uh, we got to put nickel seats and shovel heads. Another transmission. Man, I'll tell you. I've been uh, working pretty late these days trying to get everything done. So anyway, uh, let me show you how we do everything here. This is my uh, takedown table right here. Uh, this just came in uh, two days ago. And that's from Joe. He's from South Dakota. And uh, he wants his uh, panhead motor all rebuilt. So uh, we take it all apart just like we do here. And uh, we put it in the parts cleaner over here. And uh, we get all the parts cleaned. And then uh, we take them near the uh, wood burning stove and uh, they dry out and then we glass bead everything. After the uh, parts are glass beaded, we come back and put them in this uh, machine. This has a turntable that goes around as the spray goes on. See that? It's got a uh, timer. Uh, we run this for about six minutes and it gets all the glass beads and everything out of the, uh, out of the cases and the heads. And uh, after this we uh, blow dry, you know, the parts. And then I line up all the parts on these workbenches here. And uh, right now I'm rebuilding three motors at once. That's the way I like to do everything, like an assembly line. See, we do all the boring. Uh, this guy's motor here, this is from New Mexico. And uh, I just did the boring on the Evolution. I did the boring on the Panhead. And this Evolution here, we just did the boring. And then next we're going to do the uh, heads, then I do the flywheels. Then we put new races in the cases, line bore it, and uh, start assembling it. Here, these I just bought out. Here, look how nice. Look at that fit, huh? That's really good. One and a half to two thousandths fit. Perfect. Okay, I'm doing all this stuff for probably about 54 years in business, so I know what I'm doing by now. So, uh, when you send your motor here, you're going to get new races, new bushings, uh, the connecting rods, see we press the old races out, uh, we press all the new uh, old bushings out, we put new stuff in there. See Holly Davidson from the factory only has a one hole uh, oiling crank pin and they have three sets of rollers, 54 turn to roller bearings. So what I do, I use a Jim's machining uh, crank pin or Eastern motorcycle parts. Those are the two hardest and best crank pins in the country. Right? See? And it has three holes. One, two, three. And that'll make the uh, motor uh, last a lot longer by all sets of uh, three roller bearings uh, getting oiled at the same time. We changed the pinion shaft race. Uh, you get new uh, valve guides, uh, stainless steel nitrated valve set to spring tension, new seals, and uh, everything's done for about $1,200, right? Don't think it's a cheap price and you're getting cheap parts because if you pay $2,200, it's not going to come out any better than what I do. Okay, right here. This one here is going out Monday. In fact, this whole line of motors is going out Monday morning. It's going to be packed over the weekend. Okay, for $1,200, you get the whole lower end put together, balanced, trued, flywheels in there. Uh, you could add more things. We could port and float a hedge. We could put dual spark plugs. We could shave it for more compression. Uh, there's all kinds of things. You could add a cam. Uh, just a little more money. Okay, so you get Hastings rings, you get cast iron uh, cast uh, pistons, uh, you get the uh, nitrated valves, Amco guides, Teflon seals, and a top end gasket set, $1,200. It's all shipped in two boxes. The two heads and the two barrels are put in four separate boxes into one bigger box. The lower end is put in a plastic milk crate and then cardboard around it. The plastic milk crate supports the motor from rubbing through the cardboard. And uh, this way we could use UPS and FedEx. The reason we like to do it like this, we don't want to put the home motor together because then we have to build a wooden box and the trucking companies, their prices are outrageous uh, to ship uh, motors back and forth with the trucking company. 
Uh, for 30% uh, up, cheaper, you could uh, send everything FedEx or UPS. Okay, so uh, that's what I'll be doing. Uh, we open up the museum April 3rd, and then it's going to be even longer time to get your motor work done because I have to, uh, you know, we give tours uh, Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. I got a lot going on. Next week, the RV uh, park uh, is going to be open for the public. We'll have everything done and ready. Everybody's welcome. I want to thank all you bikers for sending me all this work. I really appreciate it. I do the best I can. I'm the only one that assembles all this and does the machine work. I have helpers that take things apart and glass beat everything, but the actual machine work and assembly is done by me. Any questions, give me a call 719-683-2200. You guys have a great weekend and thanks a lot for watching.